MP elect Jenica Atwin secured the only Green Party seat outside of British Columbia, and she did it all the way on the other side of the country in Fredericton, and she joins me now. Congratulations, Ms. Atwin. How are you reacting to last night's results? I'm just, I'm still kind of uh, over the moon here, I'm only running on about three hours of sleep, so <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Um, and you know, I've had so many voters come to me and say that this is the first time that they voted for someone who actually won. So it's a, it's a, it's a win for, for so many tonight, or today, I guess. Uh, have you had a chance to speak with your leader, Ms. May? I have not, um, but we are we're scheduled to speak later this morning. Well, the runner-up in your riding was Conservative Andrew Johnson, and he was running for a party that supports expanding the oil and gas sector, uh, and he did generate a, a, a decent amount of support. How are you going to serve a community that does appear to be divided on the environment, and how do you intend to, to handle that industry? Mm. Um, I mean, I think that really there was a lot of unity when it, as it comes to the environment. It was it came up at so many of our public engagements and, and debates. Um, and Andrea, as, as a conservative, she brought up her concerns as well. So I really think that um, you know it's not something that's going to be that difficult. I think people are, are ready to to see some action on this. And even conservatives, they they want to see um, you know real climate change um, policies for the most part. I know there are some that may not think it's a top priority, but I think here in Fredericton, uh, it's, we're a lot more connected um, than, than not. A, a three-seat caucus for the Green Party in a minority setting means potentially a lot more influence than, than the Greens have ever had before. What are you going to be looking to push beyond the environment as your policies in the House of Commons? Well, a big thing, uh, you know, here in New Brunswick and particularly in Fredericton uh, is our health care. Uh, we have an aging population. Uh, we have a, a mental health crisis uh, amongst our youth, amongst other demographics. We need some more money coming into the system. We need a, a, a Health Canada mandate that's focused on mental health. We need to be a lot more creative and innovative with our solutions. And, uh, you know, people really need help here on the ground. We've got you know, tens of thousands of New Brunswickers without a family doctor. We need to do better recruiting efforts. We need to ensure um, that we're incentivizing the work of care. So that's a big priority for me. Uh, Jenica Atwin, a, a hard-fought victory for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.